people, 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 people. Que pasa, suck, pasa, what they do. Now, people, the first thing that is popping in the news, it is called good news, good news, good news. Because we saw that the other day the Popo held on to two men in connection with the slap away of former vice principal of Excelsior High. I am speaking about a person whose name is Colleen Walker. And she was taken out on about July 19 at about 5 something p.m. in the evening after she was watering her plants, her garden. In the era of Queensborough, we are speaking about Kingston 19. Now, people, the Popo held on to them the other day. However, they were not formally charged. However, these men, I am speaking about the first person, Randy Raymond, OC teacher, and the next person, Michael Small. Now, based on the information, Randy Raymond is said to be an unemployed person and Michael Small, he is said to be a truck driver. However, people, based on the information from the Popo, it is said that they were both charged for a conspiracy to slap away, also slap away, illegal possession of a firearm and also ammunition. So, people, we are speaking about good news because it seems like the wheels of justice can finally start turning for these two culprits that basically take away this innocent lady point blank and peer so anyways people this is what the deputy commissioner of popo in charge of the crime portfolio i am speaking about a person whose name is fitz bailey had to say about the whole incident take a listen take a look and then i'll give my piece the took place on the 9th of april 2020 about 5 15 pm when miss walker was at her house by men and foot armed with handguns. She was taken to the KPH where she was pronounced. The investigation was led by the Criminal Investigation Branch Headquarters, supported by the Major Investigation Division, the County and Organized Crime Investigation Branch, and the Era 4 Criminal Investigation Branch. The investigation was a combination of traditional detective work and technology, and this has led to the arrest of the two persons. Now, people of lately, we are speaking about in the past month or two, we see that the Popo has been putting in the work. We see that they've been finding a lot of tools. We see that they've been arrested and also taking out a lot of gunmen and wanted men. And people, it seems as if they are doing the proper investigation. We are speaking about investigation that is conducted by the Criminal Investigation Branch Headquarters. And that is also supported by the Investigation Division of the Counterterrorism. And based on what DCP Bailey is saying, he said that it is also a coordinated effort by the Era 4 Criminal Investigation Branch. So people, we say that they are putting in the work. They are doing traditional investigation and they are also using science and technology. And um, people, it seems as if this is what this commissioner is always saying when it pertains to any sort of big crime that is basically come under wrap. So people, that is good news for Jamaica. That is good news for the family and friends of the victims. Him. Some people like we see Jamaica Popo, we are speaking about the justice system. It is finally seen or shown that it is being effective. It is finally solving a lot of crime. Some people, this only shows you that whenever the Popo really put in the actual effort, whenever they use the resources, whenever they have the willingness to solve any sort of crime, it is possible. So people, hopefully, we can see a better Jamaica point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dance all source i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also please subscribe to this channel we're speaking about true jamaica buzz and when you subscribe please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now the next thing that we see popping in the news that we see that jamaica is basically flooding out and this is as a result of some sort of tropical depression that is going on in the era. So people, when we talk about Kingston, when we talk about country, when we talk about all over the place, it has flooded out. So people, take a listen, take a look to these videos, and then I'll give my piece. They are joking. You know, nobody can cross it. Everybody's here. 
people want to cross it and can't cross it. Who understands can cross it? Make who understands cross it, cross it, and so they might get. Fisherman, fisherman. Jaja, look for Marcus Garvey. This um, hey, yo, the water almost reached the fence. Jano you know people. My vehicle I brought down. Why me not know how I take you so? Watch the man. People. I should have taken here. I should. Should have taken here, people. People watch there. Marcus Garvey, no, this. This ain't real, man. Just a little rain, just a little rain, not even for um, half an hour and the entire half a tree area is flooded. I mean the drainage is so poor. Oh look at that. Nobody can cross it. It is really really bad. Really really bad. Just a little rain. Look what is almost at his knee. Like I'm sure there is no entrance into the Jane Bank. The drainage system is very poor here in Kingston, Jamaica, right in half a tree. Whoa, look at water. This is a lot. <laughs> Lord, please don't let my car shut up, please. Now people, like them say, everywhere you go, it's the same cry, water trouble, flood trouble. Now people, we are talking about Kingston, half a tree in the center, the city center. We are talking about Pan Marcus Garvey. We are speaking about half a tree. We are talking about Pan Agley Park Road. We are talking about Kansan Spring Road. And remember people, they just paid the Chinese billions of dollars to basically change up the whole infrastructure. However, people, it seems as if there was not proper drainage done. That means that a whole bunch of money was paid, a whole lot of persons pocketed money. May I talk about politicians, may I talk about these construction workers from we are speaking about China and also we say that this is a problem because of a lot of these gullies being packed with all sorts of garbage. We are talking about all sorts of nasty people are fling all sorts of garbage in the gully. So we are speaking about improper garbage pickup. We are just speaking about a whole lot of problems in Jamaica that is causing this. And people, this is not a storm. This is not a hurricane. This is just a tropical depression. So just imagine what is going to happen when we actually get some sort of serious storm or serious hurricane. People, it is going to be problematic, point blank and period.
Now the next thing that is popping in the news is called only in Jamaica, only in a jam rock. And people, this sounds like something that is straight out of Mad Magazine. Now based on the information, it is said that St. Mary Farmer, he was charged for the slap away of his own cousin. We are speaking about 21 year old Emilio Williams. He and his cousin who is 27 year old and his name is Kevin Hyatt. Now, based on the information, it is said that the cousins had a little disagreement. Well, not really a little disagreement. They had a dispute. They had an all-out brawl. And it is said that one cousin draw for a bill, and the next one draw for a garden fork, and people, they went at each other. And at the end of the day, it is said that the 21-year-old Emilio, he basically injured the cousin, and the cousin was taken to the place of recovery. However, he did not make it. So basically, the Pope was charging for the slap away of his own cousin and he is to return to court on the 28th of October 2020 and he is going to be facing a charge of slap away people we are talking about cousin upon cousin and um, people like them say blood is thicker than water however in this case we see that they don't care because we see say, sister I take out sister we see say, husband I take out wife we see say, this one I take out this one father and son in a all sort of dispute so people, we are speaking about a set of psychopathic person. We are speaking about a set of mentally deranged person. So based on the popo information, it is said that both cousins were taken to the place of recovery. However, one did not make it and the next one was taken into the custody of popo. And um, people like we see, Mr. Williams, he was subsequently charged on Monday, August 17, 2020 after he was questioned by the popo so basically the popo them asked him some sort of question and they did not believe that his story or his side of the story was credible so therefore them lock him up based on the information based on their investigation point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.